Hey guys, it's Kimberly from Keep the Tail Wagging, and I'm here with you with another random question Wednesday. Today's question comes from Joanne Tank, who um, started feeding her dog chia seeds thanks to one of my blog posts. So thanks, Joanne. And her question is, how are we offsetting the omega-3 fatty acids and chia seeds with omega-6 fatty acids? And kind of like, where does she get those? She also asked some questions about utilizing um, the chia seeds along with fish oil, along with phytoplankton, sort of like, how does all that fit into the diet? I think I got the question right, but that's kind of the gist of it. So let me start by saying, when it comes to the chia seeds, I actually only add them to my dog's diet for the fiber which is great for gut health. Um, they're loaded with antioxidants and it's a good source of manganese. I hydrate them, so just put them in a jar with water and let them fluff up. And then I use spoonfuls into a big batch of um, raw food when I'm doing meal prep. I also add it to fermented vegetables. I rarely add it by the poop spoonful to my dog's meals. I mostly add it as an ingredient when I'm making big batches of food or the fermented vegetables. Although I know that um, chia seeds are a good source of omega-3 fatty acids, I, they're plant-based omega-3 fatty acids. And as I understand it, um, those are ALA. And dogs need to convert their, by their system needs to convert those to DHA and EPA. It's a lot easier for dogs to just get the animal-based fatty acids. So that's going to be the phytoplankton, the fish oil, the salmon oil, um, raw sardines, um, canned sardines, um, uh, uh, cart burgers from Scout and Zoe's, those are going to be amazing sources of omega-3 fatty acids, and that's what I prefer for my dogs. So um, I don't feed all of those things in the same meal. I alternate everything that I do. So if one day my dogs are eating um, cart burgers, they're not gonna have any other source of omega-3 fatty acids. We're just gonna go through the cart burgers. And then the following week, maybe I'll be pumping fish oil into their meals. Or in the following week, I will try raw sardines. I just go back and forth and just to give them variety and then they're getting the, um, getting the benefits of the omega-3 fatty acids. Um, my favorite omega-3 fatty acid right now is phytoplankton. I'm really surprised that I feel this way because a couple of years ago, I was like, mm, I ain't going to do phytoplankton. It was expensive, and um, I just didn't see the point of it. But I found a really great source, Dr. Ross. It comes in a small bag, but that small bag lasts at least three months with my four dogs. I mean, it's amazing. A little goes a long way. So I feel like it's the best deal if you're going with the supplement route. But I still like to do, um, to alternate supplements. And the reason why is because sometimes I may be out of something. And so it's nice to have something else on hand. And mostly I just really prefer whole foods whenever possible. And by that, I mean the sardines and the cart burgers. Um, the fish I know isn't always ideal for all people. Some dogs don't like fish. Some people don't like fish. And also people are concerned about the toxins in the oceans and how that impacts the fish. And again, how it impacts our dogs. So if that is a, your concern, I think the phytoplankton is your best bet. And I'll put a link to that in the notes. So to go back to the original question about the omega-3 fatty acids offsetting the omega-6 fatty acids, we're going to see the omega-6 fatty acids in the meat that we feed to our dogs. But that's where those are. And so they're going to naturally offset each other. And I always feel like everything kind of works its way through by um, through variety. As we alternate proteins and other ingredients in our dog's diets, we're gonna see everything kind of level out. The biggest issue, as I understand it, is feeding a kibble diet that is super high in omega-6 fatty acids, which means that it's a highly inflammatory diet. And in those diets, you definitely need the omega-3s to offset those high omega-6s. But that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about a raw food diet, which is less inflammatory, but there are omega-6 fatty acids in the meat. They are offsetting each other. Everything's copacetic. So what I would love to know is what are your thoughts? Do you feed chia seeds to your dogs? Why do you feed chia seeds to your dogs? Are you concerned about getting a nice balance of omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids? And if you are, how are you making that happen? Because that's not something that I really am working on at the moment. And with regard to omega-3 fatty acids, what are your sources? Are you doing whole foods? Are you doing supplements? You know, 
put them in the comments. Let us know because the more of us that are talking about these things, the more people we can help. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Thank you, Joanne, for the great question. And I'll talk to you next week.